What's up, friendos? It's Exotic MTG here, and we're doing that review as promised on Cardsphere.com. So all I have done uh, on this website is type in the website URL. So www.cardsphere.com is literally the only thing I have done before this review. So this is the main home page, I guess. Um, so we're going to go ahead and sign up. Again, if you guys are just seeing this for the first time, you don't know anything about it. I don't either. So there's uh, there's nothing that I know that you don't know. I just know that it's it's a trading platform, um, and the guys that uh, I guess founded it, developed it, created it, wanted me to do a review on it. So that's what we're here doing today. Um, I have a stack of cards that I opened in a previous video, some Mirage cards. So we're gonna kinda use those as our trade fodder. I don't think there's much for value there, but hey, that's one way we'll be able to see, do people on this website want cards of lower value? So let's find out. Uh, sign up now to start trading. Sign up now to start trading. Why are there multiple buttons? Sign up now to start trading. Okay, is this just like an example? Uh, is this a, uh, let's see. Buy cards you want cheaper, sell your cards for more than buy list. Well, that's a plus. No one wants to buy list their cards. Anyone that buy list their cards really needs uh, to be checked into a mental institution. Trade cards for cards with minimal overhead. That's good. Trade up, trade down. Turn store credit prices into cash and cards. Yeah, that's good. Liquidate a collection. I know a lot of people like doing that. Uh, USD, the United States dollar is the currency. 1% transaction fee. That makes sense. 10% cash out fee. Yeah, that I guess that makes sense. So, like, if you have $100 in cash in your account and you want to cash out, you get $90. Bucks. Um, no hidden fees. Well, it's not Verizon Wireless or DirecTV, so that's a plus. No subscription required. I love that. With Puka Trade, I had to have a subscription, and I heard that they've even added more fees over there. So, no subscription required is good. All languages, conditions, foils, that's, that's very, very huge. For a collector such as myself, I do have off-language cards. Uh, trade sealed product, that is another great thing um, because sometimes I get still sealed stuff that I win from my Facebook group and I might not necessarily need it. Um, dispute resolution and support, well, that's a must if you're going to do a platform like this. Something for everyone, competitive player, casual player, trader, collector, store, I love it. Okay. It all sounds good, but does it work good? Simple trade mechanics. One, add the cards you have to your trade or import your entire collection from other sites. That's that could be useful. Import has an import ability, guys. So if you have a list, maybe we can import that list somehow. Add the cards you want to receive. It's basically having a want list. Um, pretty typical here. Um, you specify the price you're willing to offer. View automatically generated packages of cards based on your haves and or other user wants. Send the cards you have. Receive the cards you want. That's that's the idea, isn't it? Okay, so this goes. This is actually a quite a huge page um, prior to even signing up. These are the most recent trades: an overgrown tomb, glacial, crevasse, marrow commerce. Okay, um, putting the fun back into the envelope. It's like some quotes from some traders here. Cardsphere is a game changer from Rogue Deck Builder. That's that's a big name. Okay, well, that uh, brings some legitimacy to the thing. All right, well let's sign up and start trading. Let's let's see here. All right, so email and this will be helpful to you guys if you want to reach out to me. You can always get me at exoticmtg@gmail.com. Let's see. Is it going to show my password? No, it's not. That's good. Oh, the strength of my password's bad, everybody. Watch out now. Maybe you can get in there. First and last name. Commonly used password. What are you talking about? Bad strength. This is common? Okay. I'll use my longer one. Good luck getting in now, everybody. Guess what? My name is Marcus Millard. Hit me up. Yep, if you want to send me fan mail, boom, there you go. Full address. That is Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Fan mail accepted. 
This is for an individual. I am definitely not a robot, although sometimes I might sound like one. That's a bridge. That's a bridge. That's a bridge. Those are bridges. Verify me. Yay, I'm not a robot. That's always good. All right. So now we have to log in. An email has been sent. Okay, well, let me just use my phone now just to confirm. So FYI, guys, I am on my cell phone waiting for an email to confirm me signing up. Checking email. Okay, boom. It was right away. It was instantaneous. Now there's a button, confirm registration. I just hit the button. Takes me to cardsphere.com. Your registration is confirmed. Boom. It's that easy. Okay, so signing up is easy. That's a plus. Exotic, mtg at gmail.com. Hit me up. And password is, um, oops, it's so long that sometimes even I have issues with it. Let's see if I typed it in right. I might not have. Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> sure, we can save it. Cardsphere is a platform for buying, selling, and trading Magic the Gathering cards. Oh, well, I hope so. Cardsphere finds the best packages for you to send. Yeah, senders pay only a low 1% fee. Yeah, we already read that. Push trading model. Sender chooses a trade. Super fun. Okay. I like to learn on the fly. There's a wants list, a have list, send, and ledger. That all makes sense to me. Front page, all kinds of stats are available to help you understand the current site of the Cardsphere market. I'll show you more tutorials as you explore Cardsphere. Okay, cool. Nice little tutorial. Most traded, okay, let's look at that. Opt is the most traded card right now, 102 times. Rogue Refiner, Fatal Push, Claim Territory. So the top four cards are less than rare. Marionette Master is a rare, it's the first, the highest traded rare card. No Mythics up here. Be advised, no Mythics. Most valuable, last 30 days. 200 Grand Seas, Volcanic Island, Demonic Tutor, Guys, Cradles all day. Look at that. Okay, so if you put your cursor over the name of the card, it does bring up the actual artwork of the card, so that's pretty sweet. Last seven days, number of trades, zero to one dollar, seventeen hundred and eighty-one. One to five dollars, you guys can see this. Fifty dollars plus forty-five trades. I mean, honestly, that doesn't really shock me. I, I think that that's that you know that staircase of, of up to down makes sense there's nothing there that freaks me out median trade so does I think I think what that means is if the median price of a card is a hundred bucks but they sell it or trade it for seventy one dollars or that's them like the average cost maybe I think again I do not know I am just guessing fifty percent of trades what does this mean? I don't know what that means. 58% to 81%. Okay, so that must mean the value of the cards in this category. Okay, so the $50 plus cards, you get 78% of the of the median price. I think I I'm I could be wrong, but that's my guess. 80% of trade. Okay. I, okay, so now I'm a little confused. I actually do not know what that stuff means. So maybe retitle what that says, because I don't know what that means. Anyway, let's move on. Top senders by quantity. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's kind of like a leaderboard. It definitely is a leaderboard. Top senders by value. Whoa, this guy is rocking it. $4,447. Okay. New users with funds. Okay. All cool. You can contact them. There's support. There's a Reddit link, Facebook, Twitter, Discord. Um, probably recommend getting on the Discord and talking to them, I'm going to assume. All right. So here's our, our tabs area, right? So our balance, obviously, is right here. I'm not sure what Explore is. There's Send, Haves, Wants, Sending, Receiving Messages, and then my account stuff, I'm assuming. Yeah, Profile, Settings. So, okay, let's... Let's see how easy it is to put stuff on your have list. So I've got these cards from those Mirage packs I opened. Okay, everything's near mint because we just opened it. I'm not going to read the tutorial. I'm just going to see if I can figure it out. So search item. The first card I'm looking at is Burning Shield. 
Ascari. Yep, from Mirage. I have, I think I have two actually. I think I opened two of those. Let me just, I'm just double checking that I have maybe two of these. Maybe, I, did I just really screw up? Am I wrong? I am wrong. Okay, so we have one. Add. It's 14 cents. Woohoo! So that was relatively easy to, to add. Rampant growth. Okay, I don't have to type it in all the way. Mirage is the first one. Add it to halves. 17 cents. Okay, so I'm just going to go through here. I'm going to add all these cards and then uh, re resume the video. So, uh, you know, you'll like this much more than I will. All right, guys, so I went through the list. It's all here, but I have two more cards to add. I just want to show you a couple of things. So I have a second Zebra Unicorn, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can add another one in quantities. I think you just click this button here, this active button, and change it, and you add one there and hit save. Boom, done. So now we have two of those, and I have one more card I'm going to add, and I'm just going to show you something really cool that I noticed while I was doing the ads. So under your search items, you type in Pearl. Well, my card I'm adding is Pearl Dragon, right? Um, rather than use the mouse, do all the clickety clicks. After you have it typed in, if it's highlighted here, like Mirage is highlighted right now, just hit enter and then hit enter again and it adds it. So boom. So out of the two packs of Mirage that I opened on the la latest, well, as of right now, the latest YouTube video of mine, nothing is higher than, what, 36 cents? Yeah, pretty sad. Pretty sad, a uh, couple packs of Mirage, but hey. Okay, so boom, we have all those added. We're going to dismiss this tutorial because I think we've got it pretty much figured out. Our halves are $4.75. Um, halves and active halves, I, I guess I don't really know the difference, but we'll probably figure that out later. Um, we don't need to add anything in wants yet because we don't have any balance on our account. Uh, sending would be if we have already confirmed to send something. I'm just going to dismiss that. Receiving, I, I feel like I'm smart enough to get that figured out. Messages is obvious. So let's click the send button and see what happens. And then we'll kind of end the video there. And then our next video, we'll do the review of how easy it is to send cards. So let's check it out. Click on that send button now. And what do we get? Does anybody want our stuff? Okay, so three people. What is this? Is it, is it USA? Yeah. I, my screen's kind of grainy. We got a Canada, and I don't even know what that is. Is that like a. Yeah, what flag is that? I'm thinking it's some kind of island, right? Okay, so let's just say I'm going to send. Well, I wouldn't send actually any of this because none of these are the price of a stamp. So let's do this. Let's go back to Habs. Let me grab something out of my random random bunch of stuff. Okay, I have two I have two birds of paradise. One's M11, no, one's M10, one's M12. Birds. Is that magic 12? Add and birds of paradise. I got the what 12 already, so there's the 10. Add is the R near mint. All right, so boom, those are in our halves. And now let's go back to send. Let's see what happens now that we have cards of more of a value. Um, that not work? Okay, halves. So they're in our halves. And then let's click send again. I, have, I find it hard to believe that nobody wants Birds of Paradise. Hide low offer 75% lower. Okay, let's see what happens if we change that filter. Okay, so that some that guy, okay, so he's offering 432. Okay, so that's what that, that's actually really helpful. I think that that's probably a good start. Let's see what happens if we change it to like 50% lower though. Okay, so we get more people offering for things. Like this Canadian here, Marvin. 
It's offering 67% of median, which is 362. Let's go ahead and change that back up to 70, I think it was 75%. So we do have somebody wanting uh, the one from M12. If you put your cursor over it, it looks like it does come up with a text to show you the uh, set name. Like, for instance, if you don't know what that is, you put your cursor over it, it'll tell you Mirage. The only bad thing is, is that this guy is, um, okay, so I recognize this flag, Cristiano Ronaldo. That's Portugal. Pretty sure that's Portugal, right? So sending a card like this to Portugal would be an international stamp. It would cost a dollar twenty ish. Not sure if the price has changed. So let's change this to seventy percent to see if we have anything to kind of compare it to. We don't. So if you take a dollar twenty out of the stamp for that, you're looking at three dollars and ten and twelve cents. Obviously, it's going to be tough to to send those birds um, internet. Like if that was USA, I'd click send right now. I would, I would click send right now. So let me reach into my box. Let me grab. Okay, I got a sword of the meek. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just trying to kind of. I love playing with this stuff. Sword of the meek. Future site near mint, non foil add to halves, 720. So it's gone down. Last I checked it last week, it was 783. Now it's 720. Now let's click send. See if anyone's wanting that sort. Nobody wants the sort of the meek. Anyway, you guys kind of get the gist. The next video we do, we'll be we'll, we'll be playing around a little bit with who wants what. How are the offers looking? We'll get some more cards added in the meantime. But you guys get the gist. Sign up for your account. Play around with it if you want. So far, we just kind of reviewed getting the account, adding cards to have list, and then clicking that send button and figuring out, um, you know, how the send is done. Obviously, I'm not going to send these for less than the stamps value, and I don't want to send my Birds of Paradise for 432 internationally. Um, so. The next video will do more. Uh, thank you for being here on the first review of Cardsphere. We're going to do more because I'm very intrigued so far of this website and uh, kind of getting a little bit of uh, value out of this. So we'll see you guys on the next one, and maybe we can open some more old vintage packs. In the meantime, I'm Exotic MTG, and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.